Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and everything about Excel. Alright, today I was answering a question from Tracy Shaw on YouTube. She wanted to know how to split up text like you see here. Jane period M period Doe at xxx.co. I wanted to know how to break that up into first, middle, last, and the domain name. Now, yesterday I showed you how to do this with text to columns, and I really recommend that if uh, you can. But let's show you how to write the formulas up. Okay, so um, if you look at the text that we have here, uh, the periods are what break up the different sections. Um, of the first, middle, and last names. Uh, and then the at symbol breaks up the domain name. So uh, we're going to do four different formulas. Let's start with the first one. And uh, we're going to do equals. And what we want to do is, the, for the first name, it's always over here on the left of the period. So we're going to use a left function. And the text that we want to do is the left of this text. And now we got to tell it how many characters. Now we're going to find the number of characters uh, by finding that first period. And so we're going to do the find function. And we're going to find text of a period within the text over here in A7. Uh, and then we don't need to do the next one, which is the start number. We can just end it right there. Now, since this is going to return the period as well, because that's what we're finding is the period, and so it's going to return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means the period is going to show up in our first name, and we really don't want that. So we want to just subtract 1 and end our parentheses and hit Enter. And look at that. Jane is working. Now, this will work for any time it finds uh, either bigger names, shorter names. It's looking for that first period. I mean, I just copied that down and we're done with that one. Now let's go over to the domain name because that's going to be an easy one to do as well. Uh, and if you'd like more on the step-by-step -step for this, please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com and uh, check out the post for this uh, that you'll see in the comment section. Uh, but that way you can look and copy the formulas exactly. And uh, so for the domain name, it's at the at symbol, and we want everything right of the at symbol. So kind of like we just did, we're going to actually do the right function now of this text. And um, for the number of characters, uh, what we want to do is, is write's a little different than just find, because it always starts to the left here. Um, then write is going to start this way. But the find works to the right. So uh, what we want to do is we want to do a calculate how long is this entire text string, and then subtract when we find uh, the at symbol. That subtraction should give us the total number of characters over here on the right. And that's what we're going to use. So we need to do this with the len, or the length uh, function. And so we're going to do the length of a7. And then we're going to subtract where we find the at symbol within cell over here at A7. And we can just end our parentheses all the way around. And look at that. Now we have the domain name um, because we've uh, gone ahead and done that. It works on smaller and larger um, domains. And so everything's good about that. Now the middle is going to be a little bit trickier because we need to find the first period. Then we need to find the second period. Uh, and we want the stuff in between. So when you want stuff in between in text functions, you're going to want to use the mid function. Um, and we're going to do the mid over here of A7 as our text. Now, there's two more parts of the mid. There's the starting number and the number of characters. The starting number, that is going to be where we find that first period, right? So we are going to do a find, and we are going to do quotes looking for the first period over here in A7, and um, we can end that. Now, uh, we want to get to that period, but we want the next one, so we're just going to add one to that. All right, so now we have uh, got the starting number, but now we need to find that second period. So um, we need it to go find this period here so that we can subtract the two and uh, get the middle. Um, and so that is, once again, another find function. And we're going to look for the same thing, a period. Uh, and we're going to start over here in A7. Um, but you'll notice, see this third operator here in the find function? 
we're going to use it this time and what we're going to do is we're actually going to go look and the starting number is going to be where we find that period um, within text in A7. So if we go look for that and since we have to always get past that first period we're just going to add a 1 in there as well. Uh, and um, so if we actually go and find that information um, we're gonna, it's going to go out to the first period to do the starting point, and then it's going to do the find, and that's how it's going to find that actual length. Now, um, then we need to subtract from this because it wants to know the uh, number of characters. We're going to go ahead and subtract the find of A7 with the, for the period, um, and since we want to get rid of and not show that second period, so we just want M, we don't want M period, we're going to need to subtract another one from that as well, and we should be able to end our parentheses and get an error. Oh, because I didn't underscore. Needed a parentheses. All right, there we go. So, um, so what it's doing is it is going to go in and find the second one. It's going to subtract out the uh, first period, and that's how it's going to get um, the information that we're looking for the middle. Let's copy that down. Look at that. Uh, M, T, and T, M. So it's dynamic there for all those different ones within the periods. Now we're going to do a similar function for the last name. So we need to find that second period and the at symbol and subtract those that information in there as well. So this is a bit longer of a formula and this is going to be another mid function. We're going to do A7 um, and we're going to do a find and let's do a quote of we're going to find the period within A2. Now that's um, going to be uh, the first one, but we want to actually have it kick off from the second period. So we want to do a find of quote period uh, within A7. Let's end that parentheses there, and we don't want to include the period, so let's add one um, to that as well. And um, let's end our parentheses and add one more to uh, make sure we get rid of another period. But um, So some of this you'll find as you just uh, hunt around and try and uh, work with the different formulas as I did. So um, that is our starting number. Now the number of characters, this is where we want to bring in the at symbol. And so we want to do a find of the at symbol uh, within a7. And we want to subtract from that the find that we just did. So we want to do the find of period within A7. And we want to start at the first period, uh, not from the beginning of the text string. And oops, that's a comma. So we want period. And we want to do A7. And this is where we can go ahead and end our text string. And it's going to wrap a little bit because it hit the side of uh, this long formula. So you can look up in the formula bar as well. Um, so now that we've found that, we want to um, add 1 to that. And then we do not want to include the period in there as well. All right, so we have the formula set up. But oops, I noticed I have an error. This is not A2. It should be A7. That will cause us a major problem. So let's hit Enter. And we have dough, so it is um, looking for the second period by nesting those finds within uh, the mid function. Um, and then we're also going to find where the at symbol is and subtract that second period uh, to find our length in here as well. Let's go ahead and copy that down. And so you have do, do, ru, dot, and z. So it works for different sizes, works for different things. Uh, so uh, come back tomorrow because I'm going to show you how to modify uh, this formula so that um, what if your uh, email address is just simply mary at um, edt.com. Um, you'll see we get all sorts of values and errors in this because there are no, uh, there's no periods in there for it to find um, anything. So we're going to get just values and errors all over the place. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Or um, what if we had mary dot joe at edu.com. Mary works, but then our middle doesn't work and our last doesn't work. So 
uh, because it can't find those second periods anywhere in there um, that makes any sense. So come back tomorrow, I'll show you how to modify these formulas so that you can get those other variations of just first name, just last name, um, uh, I'm sorry, just first name or first and last name uh, so that you can make these formulas very dynamic. So once again, this is Steve equals true. Please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com and also subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the latest post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.